everyone, Vlerik here from Unfair.co, and in this video we're going to go over how to make easy money by playing the auction house or trading post in Guild Wars 2. Now, a lot of you have been asking for this video it's because you see my inventory, you're like, oh my god, you have so much gold. Well, you can too, it's honestly not that difficult. Uh, ignore the luminous dust, that's something I need for crafting, but uh, as you can see, last night before I went to bed, I put stuff up. I got seven gold back and a lot of items to sell again for more money. So the basic premise here is you buy low, sell high. Now what a lot of people don't realize on the trading post is, well, I'll just look up bone shards here. All right, you can buy it instantly for 49 copper, or you can place a custom offer and buy it for a set amount. Now the way I usually do this is, bone chart is not really a good example, so let me find something else. Let's try venom sacks. It's usually good. All right, let's check out powerful venom sack here. You can buy it instantly for about a silver, or you can place a custom offer and buy them for eighty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and buy. T I'm gonna pick up my money first. So here's how this works. You find an item. I'm going to use a powerful venom sack as an example for this video. Uh, that sells for about a silver a piece when you buy it instantly. Now ignore the little 85 there, so I'm just trying to get rid of their stuff. So if someone were to buy, say, 200 of these at current prices, granted most of this is at 99 silver, they'd spend approximately two gold, a gold 95 silver there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna buy these. We're gonna place a custom offer because it's currently selling for 77 to 80 copper a piece. So what we're gonna be able to sell for a gold night, just under two gold, we can buy for as little as a gold and 54 silver. So we're gonna spend a gold and 54 silver and then we're going to sell it for a gold and 98 silver or something like that for these 200. So we're going to gain about 40 silver off of 200 powerful venom sacks. Minus maybe 3 or 4 silver for the auction house cut, but that's really negligible. So basically the key is you need to find items that you can buy for cheap and sell high. You want the difference between the buy instantly and the custom offer to be about 15 copper or more to be worth it. So let me go ahead and do that now. Place my buy order here. Now this isn't instant. People actually need to go to prices and buy and sell things and yada yada. But if you leave it on overnight or throughout the course of the day, you'll see that it always sells. The prices fluctuate so much in this game. Every buy order you put in within reason will get bought out. Every sell order will get sold. So like these scales here. You can buy them instantly for 52 copper or you can put in orders for about 42 copper. Now last night when I purchased these I purchased them for 35 each. And now I'm going to be able to sell them at 52 copper each. So, what is that? 17 copper profit per scale times 230 scales? It's good money. So, I'm going to swim. Yay. Uh, let's look at the totems from last night. I can sell them for 50 now. I bought them again for 35. So, I'm making 15 copper off of every totem here. And it's 171 instead of even 200 because I had to do a little crafting video. But yes, um, that is basically how you do it. You want lots and lots of gold in Guild Wars 2? Buy low, sell high. Alright guys, if you found this helpful, uh, please toss the video a like, favorite. Let me know what you think in the comments below, how this is working out for you. 75, I bought it for 60. So, yeah, good times to be had here. Passive money. 
spend five, ten minutes a day looking at prices, putting in buy orders, sell orders, and watch the stuff roll, roll in. We know we're talking about something that would have been cool. Oh well. Until next time, guys, this has been Voyerk. Take care. Now there are some items in the game, mostly cooking materials, that have a big difference between the buy instantly price and the buy order price. I usually stay away from these because it's kind of risky and the prices vary a lot and people don't usually buy them in bulk. Like I, you can buy this sesame seed here instantly for 3 silver, 10 copper a pop. Or you can put in a buy order for 2 silver, 60 copper. So that's what, 50 copper a piece? The thing with these is you can't really buy and sell them in bulk because Oh, look at this, everyone's selling one or two at a time. And people don't buy these that often. So you gotta be really careful with stuff like this. Yes, there's huge profit to be made, but you can't really reliably sell it quickly. Things like vanilla beans, though, are awesome, because a silver 88 copper there. Ooh, this went up. This was 150 each. It's gonna give you guys a little gem here. Uh, vanilla beans were selling for 190 a piece. I guess they still are. But these buy orders, the market got flooded. Used to be at 160. So this was my most profitable item earlier. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to go find another one. Grr. All right. Anyway.